Hi Aries, this is Power and Light Tarot. Thanks for coming to my channel over here to view your love reading, your love reading for the first half of January 2019. Happy New Year's to you guys, all right? And um, <clears throat> I hope everybody had a great, you know, holiday here. Now, um, as usual, I'm using two decks, uh, Aries, right, for a more perfect message for repeating cards that, you know, are just, you know, undeniable messages, right, when we get double cards or repeaters, rather, okay? The bottom of the deck, Aries, is the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Um, there is a situation here where, you know, somebody's feeling stuck. Uh, there could be some sadness and, you know, just confliction here. The Knight of Pentacles is showing up, too. You could be dealing with uh, an Earth sign, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, doesn't need to be, okay? Just, uh, you know, uh, calling out the bottom of the deck because sometimes it is really relevant. Um, so let's see uh, how this Knight of Pentacles may tie in here, okay? Um, please like, share, and subscribe, guys. Sending you guys so much love with these videos, okay? So let's get started here, you guys. Your current energy is the star card your past energy is the four of pentacles you're seeing your partner or whoever you're dealing with as the king of swords their current energy is the four of wands their past energy the six of wands and they are seeing you as the hanged man in the reverse the situation here is the emperor so that's you aries okay showing up as the you know emperor that you are okay now i'm going to be going over to vimeo uh with the challenge or the obstacle, what they're hiding and their true intentions for you in love, okay? And just so you guys know, these videos are super affordable. You can see all your extenders for $8.99, okay? That means you can cross-watch your person, and you can also watch your moon and rising, all right? Your moon is, like, super important. So let's get going here. With the star in your current energy, Aries, I feel like, you know, somebody doesn't want to put the work in here, <clears throat> with the Eight of Pentacles clarifying it, um, you know, you could be dealing with an Aquarian. This is true, right? You, you could also be feeling, you know, somebody is your star, your wish come true. You could be feeling possibly that they don't want to put the work in. Yes, this is your energy, but, you know, when we're dealing with compelling situations, uh, love affairs and things like that, we can often feel our partner's energy, okay? Um, yeah, so... Also, you know, you're stuck at a situation, you're at a stalemate, rather, about making a decision here. You could be blocking somebody, um, possibly, who is not putting the work in. That could be the case. Somebody's not making an effort. The other uh, scenario here is that, um, you know, you could just be stuck up in your head and at a stalemate about, you know, about maybe, you know, putting the work in, in a situation you could have put the work in in the past here, and now the, you know, the Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse here. That could be the case here. But I feel like what's happening here is that you're at a stalemate about a situation where somebody is not making an effort, okay? Um, you could also be, you know, kind of at a stalemate about it, whether or not to have faith in a situation, okay? Now, your past energy is the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So in the past, you know, you could have been stubborn. This could have been your, your energy in the past. But I feel like you were holding on to something, okay? And you were also carving out a new path for yourself, all right? That's kind of interesting, right? So, um, you know, you were looking for a new path here with the Two of Wands. Parsi uh, possibly a new partner. Um, sometimes the Two of Wands can be choosing between partners or paths, but I feel like, you know, whatever this was, you were holding on to something and carving out a path for yourself. Uh, at the same time, in the past, you could have also been holding on to money or stability here, okay? Um, yeah, it's really interesting here. So you're seeing your partner as the King of Swords and the Devil, uh, okay? You could be seeing them as trying to cut out Devil energy here. That could be the case here. You could also be seeing them as, you know, maybe stuck uh, in some type of bondage. You could be seeing them as, you know, being in the devil energy, you know, having vices, some type of toxicity here. The devil is many, many things, okay? Um, it's not good energy, though. 
Now, the King of Swords, you could be seeing them as, you know, clear-minded about a situation where devil energy is involved, okay? So let's see as we go on, and we're going to see, you know, why this is so. Their current energy is the Four of Wands. It's clarified with the Seven of Wands in the reverse and the Ace of Cups in the reverse. They could have gave up in a situation, um, you know, they could have stopped fighting for something. Um, I feel like that is the case here. It is about a happy home, or, you know, maybe it was happy before, but the Ace of Cups is in the reverse here. So that's telling me that, you know, there's some problems, you know, in the home front here or in your partnership, all right? You could have gave up, the other person, I beg your pardon, could have gave up in a situation. They could have felt totally overwhelmed here, okay? Um, they could simply, you know, not be fighting for the situation, right? Fighting for the... Um, fighting for the union anymore and in your current energy Aries we have the eight of pentacles in the reverse you could actually be feeling them you know giving up not wanting to make any effort okay that could be the case here okay and you know you're at a stalemate about it this person could be your wish your dream come true when the star car shows up shows up could also be a spiritual connection between you guys kind of like a divine connection you know when we see the star all right so their past energy is the Six of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles is in the reverse with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. And what that tells me is that um, in the past they were probably trying to overcome a third party situation and some juggling, okay? Um, yeah, if there is a third party, it's not quite sure uh, who has, you know, who's done what here, okay? But I feel like that in the past they were trying to overcome that, okay? Um, this could be them up there not, you know, putting the work in possibly because, you know, they were just trying to overcome a third party. Uh, and that's how these cards are looking here, okay? Um, they could have also, in the past, it's a possibility that you're dealing with somebody who is, you know, a little bit ego-based here. And, um, you know, maybe they didn't, you know, in the past want to put any work in here. They could have dropped a situation to... Um, with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Or they could have also just been completely off balance here. Now, they are viewing you as the Hanged Man in the reverse with the Five of Pentacles. So, you know, you could be dealing with a Pisces here, um, Aries. You could be dealing with an Aquarian. We have Capricorn energy here. There's a lots of energy here, okay? A lots of lots of. And the Queen of Cups is over here too. So, you know, there could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It doesn't need to be any of these signs, but the Hangman is in the reverse with the Five of Pentacles here. I feel like, you know, they are seeing you as not making a sacrifice here and putting you out in the cold. That could be the case. Um, you could also, they could also just be seeing you as, you know, coming out of this Hangman uh, mode or this energy where you were really trying to take a good look at a case, at a situation, you know, even going spiritual, you know, uh, putting yourself up in limbo or up in suspension, rather, putting yourself, you know, uh, in suspension and waiting and being in limbo, they could see you as coming out of that um, and also being out in the cold. So, you know, somebody has left somebody out in the cold here, and I'm not sure who it was yet, okay? Um, but we shall see as we, you know, get into the, uh, more into the reading here. Um, and so, I'm going to be going over to Vimeo and finding out the challenge here and, you know, what they are hiding here and their true intentions with you, Aries, okay? We do have part of the situation. You're showing up in your own reading, Aries. Here you are as the badass emperor, Okay. Um, you know, who runs who runs a tight ship, okay? Uh, making sure everything is, is in order, okay? I know you're probably not on the ship, uh, the Emperor, but um, could be on land, rather. But anyway, um, the Emperor is here with the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Wands. So the situation here is there could be a couple here and there's some baggage, you know. There was such a battle in the past with the Nine of, so Nine of Wands that somebody is still carrying around some hurt here with the Nine of Wands. They still have a bandage on their head as the Wounded Warrior. It could be that you are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this could just be a wound that has not completely healed, 
uh, within one of you guys, possibly, you know, for both of you guys, and um, it can just be about love here, okay? I feel like that's what could be happening here with the Queen of Cups. If you are not dealing, um, you know, with a water sign here, okay? Now, there could be third-party energy here, so, you know, this Queen of Cups might not be... It could be somebody who is coming in between a union. It's possible here, okay? Um, or that could be, you know, who you're dealing with. It's just going to depend here, okay? So the link is below, guys, and um, for the extended, you know, what they're hiding, what they really want with you here, you know, in their true intentions, and the challenge for you guys, okay? So the link is below, guys, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys over there.